Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard, and I have a Walmart plastic bag. And we are going to turn it into a mat. Just like that. So let's see how we do that process real quick. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plastic bag and I'm going to fold it long ways once, twice, thrice, just like so. I'm going to go up here to the edge where the handles are. I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to go down to the bottom where the uh, bag is formed and cut that off. That's actually kind of not needed at this point. And now all I'm going to do is, from there, I'm just going to cut them into inch, inch and a half strips just by cutting them like so. Continue to do that for the entire bag. They don't have to be perfect, and everything I do never is. Then you undo it. And you have a ring. All you do is take that ring, cut a section, now you have a strip. Now we take all the strips that we have and we tie a nice simple little knot into them just like so. Whoop, let's get that a little bit tighter. Tear that little piece off that doesn't need to be there. There we go. There we go. Tie it to a nice little knot and then you get a long piece of cordage. And then from the cordage, we just set it up on our loom and we weave. Until we get this wonderful little mat. Just like this. And that's where I'm at so far. Uh, right now, this is the majority of my baggage. <clears throat> I have these Walmart bags, which are the ones I'm using. I won't be using the other ones because I want to keep it this color, but I've separated them into different colors. I have my Walmart bags. Uh, here's some Kroger bags. Here's uh, one style of Dollar Tree bag, which is slightly lighter than the Walmart. Then we have the white Dollar Tree bags. And then I have a couple black bags, and I'll be honest, I have no clue where I got those, but I really would love to get tons of those. Okay, so here's one of the bags that I am not going to be using for this particular project. And I'll show you how I store them. So what I do is I take the bag, I flatten it out. Again, fold it long ways once, twice, <coughs> and thrice. I then turn it so that it's long ways with the handles uh, away from me and I just simply roll it up into a nice little tight as you want it. I like mine semi tight. I don't want it so tight that it's it's horrible to deal with but I do like them tight enough to where they're they actually do create a small <clears throat> a little small thing here there alright so then we take the two handles and I am going to wrap the bottom one around to the top and then the other one comes up as well and this will tighten those together now if you don't want a long end here you may be able to do that twice and then all you do is just put a simple little knot in it and that tightens it up and then you get this nice little compact piece of uh, plastic that <clears throat> is a bag or you can use it for other objects so then once I have this tied up nicely I throw it into my bag of bags I have there's there's a couple hundred of them in there and it's a lot nicer to hold them in this little bag like this tied up than it is to have them like this or just strewn around 
So these again are going to get formed into cordage, which I'm going to create my mats with. And these others right now are going to get folded up and placed into my bag o bags for later use. So here's the dining room, and as you can see, my it's my a hot mess. it's a hot mess. My loom is sitting out. I have a short amount of cordage. I need to make more. But storing my bags, generally, I'm in the closet here. Here's a <clears throat> a nice size heavy duty bag that I tend to throw my bags into. Just as an example, we'll use these two here. So when I get done with uh, emptying our bags out, what no matter what they are, I generally just wad them up like this and just toss them in there. And when I get a full bag, then generally I'll straighten them out and uh, tend to want to roll them up and put them into the uh, bag of bags. Uh, but as you can see, I have not done that recently. <laughs> but I do have them all flattened out and eventually these will get rolled up and placed into my bag o bags which is sitting right there and of course these here are going to end up being strips which will become cordage which will become a mat I'm not sure how many is here but there's a, there's a lot of them I have them folded both ends snipped off and now all I'm going to do is just about every inch or so they don't it doesn't have to be perfect and it's not going to be I'm just going to snick them snick snip them off and this is going to make rings out of them so we'll show you here real quick I'll get this one done I think I showed you this earlier but we're just going to go through the whole process that with this so once we get them folded, we cut them all. We're going to cut them all like that. And then when you open those up, it creates this nice little loop. Just somewhere in the loop, you just snip it and it creates a nice piece of cordage. So I'm going to take all that cordage and I'm just going to lay it there. And when I get all this done, we'll continue on. I'll show you how we're going to tie it onto the... Uh, rest of the loom to make cordage out of it and then we're just going to show you a quick weave and we'll get right back with you so as I cut these generally not always um, generally I get somewhere between 8 and 12 different uh, rings with each uh, um, pieces with each each bag that I cut it's not always true sometimes Sometimes I, I tend to cut a little too large or too small. Other times when I'm uh, cutting the ends off, sometimes I cut the ends a little longer than normal. But I would generally say, for the most part, I get uh, about 8 to 12 pieces out of each bag. And what I'll do is I'll measure what eight of those are uh, just to kind of see um, about the length of cordage I get out of each one of those so when I get this done I'll go ahead and let's say we'll do ten of them because that's that's a good good balance between them so I'll do ten of them see how long that is and that'll be the general length that I get from each bag I got a yardstick out I was going to measure this but once I once I started I realized that each one of these uh, strips is about uh, a yard or three feet so it's about 30 feet I'm sorry 10, 10 yards yeah so it's about 10 yards or 30 feet Per bag, I should be getting about 30 feet of cordage with each bag, somewhere around there. A little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how much I cut off of the the tail bag, the tail end of the bag, and the handle part of the bag. But generally, I'm going to say about 30 feet 
give or take a foot or two. Well, give or take a foot, I'd say. So uh, we'll consider however many bags you get. Each bag will give you about 30 feet of cordage, but you're going to have to weave this uh, either three ply it, at least three ply it to make cordage, or as I'm doing it, weaving it into a, a mat or something. So I'm not sure how much that'll give me on the mat. But it doesn't really matter at this point. So I'm going to continue with this and I'll get back with you when I get more of this woven.